Hi everyone, welcome in. I'm Chaotic Creative. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, it's my first stream back after a long absence. Um, yeah, because I wanted to share with you some of my um, experiences on Wild RP. I'm relatively new, so there's probably nothing too exciting to see yet, but... I do have an intro song for the character, and all that, so, um, without further ado... Let's first pause whatever's going on here. And then give you the intro. Actually, probably while we load in. That seems like the smarter plan. <laughs> Alright. Listen. Long absence, okay? I should be forgiven. You didn't try to link something, did you? Because the bot will kick your butt. We're getting a lot of lag. May have to reduce my settings while I stream. Hopefully that helps. Always gonna check the telegrams first. Help <laughs> see. Sorry, nobody was saying it, Evan. Let me know if the stream is too laggy, guys. Because the game certainly is for me. 
but I've been all tabbing a lot, so that might have something to do with it. Um, let me do a quick relog, actually, just to, just in case that's the issue I'm running into. Or maybe it fixes itself. I mean, that also sucks. I'm not picky. See, you would think I would test any and all of this um, before we went live, but there's nothing like doing it live. So, there's that. A painter? I don't think I've ever seen a painter here before. Hello, sir. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll have to relog because, um. Because there's no way on the mission. Nice. Pat Riley. Um, hopefully that works. Actually, let me check. See, that's what I thought might have happened. Sorry, guys. Like I said, some technical stuff. Hmm. I'll need to get that bot out of here at some point. Think that's fixed? All right. Let's try this again. Okay. This time I can actually... Um, we should change the title of this. Because it's not about me. Oh, it's locked. Duh. There we go. All right. That makes more sense. Because that is actually what it is. 
Um, we're not hungry or thirsty yet. That's good. We had a couple people back there, but that wasn't much. Um, I think I may just duck through here and then go back to the stables and get our horse. Maybe check the job board while we're at it. Get a job nearby somewhere. Where is the job board actually? It is there. See, sometimes I think I get something right, but I'm not sure. Um, I also just use my regular voice for this character just because um, I'm new to the server, so <laughs> I'm not going to immediately try to do accents and stuff. I just want to kind of find my groove. What do we got? Strawberry Butcher. Plank Deliveries. We don't have any of this. You're absolutely fine. Said, you would have to have any to sell. <laughs> if only, I'd be a much richer man. You'd have immediately gone on to your horse buying pitch. I mean, we hear the horses. We've got How many horses you've bought already that you're gonna? It's like ten or eleven now. See, sounds like smart That's business to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you actually ask people to buy gems while you're still in the mine, you know, picking the dirt off and stuff? I see, I know exactly what you mean. Absolutely. It's rare to find helpful people nowadays. Yeah, either that or, you know. No, I was just going to say exactly what you were saying now. Very constrictive, hard to breathe. What do these market men do? Well, they jacked up all the animal prices for people and every, every man and the dogs hunting. No one's fishing. No one's interested in it. Like, you know, there's just no demand for fish, so the prices just stagnated. Mining, is, if anything, is uh, oversaturated, therefore they've lowered the prices in that. But, and, but the mining, the coal is fucking blown through the roof. Uh, everyone, you know, the oversaturation has caused the undersaturation of the coal, so it's like, People went from one mine to the other mine, so there's like no emeralds anymore. And so there's all these kind of, you know, just the, you know, like what I, I, I mean, I would call them basic gems, and they're not basic, but, you know, diamond rubies and emeralds, uh, diamond rubies and sapphires, and there's no emeralds. So it's like the whole, you know, market space is just kind of flipped over. Hmm. And all I want to do is fish. 
and if I push a little bit there, I mean, I can't really, I'm like, it, it, I, I won't be making barely any next money. Well, sounds to me like you'll have to start up two businesses at once to do exactly what you want to do. One, you'll have to find a, you'll have to, You'll have to make some kind of fish specialized restaurant or, or sales card or something. No, no, and no, then. No, I, just fish, I just fish for the pleasure. The money to buy from product is just something I can kind of sleep easier. Well, if you want to sleep easier, that's what you're going to have to do. Find somebody to start that restaurant so you can sell fish to them. Hey, I think you're sleeping pretty easy. <laughs> Well, see, he may sleep easy, but he wants to sleep easier. Well, it's more of like when I go to sleep and, or, 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 and, be, or in, in, uh, you know, exaggerate it, I sleep on this like golden fringe <laughs> and bezels. What the hell? I shift the gems off before I lay down oh, and I toss and turn. All right, okay. I didn't know I was talking to Richie Rich here. God dang. Doesn't doesn't sound like you're forced to really do anything at all. I am. <laughs> you don't let him fool you. He's a dangerous figure. Hmm. What? Soon enough, he'll be sitting pretty in a mansion. He'll be like, I work so damn hard. I'm saying you're busy I because you are a gamer. Imagine uh, having forty thousand dollars to spend. What? That's an amount people can have. Since when? <laughs> this guy. Fader, we're just pointing out that you got money. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred dollars today. I put the I put the last one that I had on the black deck. One that four years in a row now. It's two thousand. You know that's gonna be gone tomorrow. Why? I'm probably gambling, but that, I. Well, that's I, a I right decision, to... being dumb. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but that, that's that's got nothing to do with. It. I'm still I'm still I still got no money. What? How many wagons do you have, Peter? Just three. Do you know how many people you could have running those wagons? Jeez. All of them cost at least six thousand each. No, no, the, the, the one, no, the, 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 the one, the one that will make shit money. My little go getter that makes me the most money. Makes like twelve to twenty thousand each time I use it. That that thing. What the fr? That's just like one, one little, one little, one little crate. That's a thousand dollars that wagon. I can't even remember the last time I saw a thousand. This guy. God. Real workhorse. Alright, well, while he's sitting pretty, I got some work to do. <laughs> Open offers, huh? Yeah, so if you, if you want to, if you gather a full bag, if you have, if you gather a full bag of oregano. There's one that's like 1,700 and something. Uh, what about the other ones, Peter? So that one's like basically 10 bags, and the other one's 70. But I needed to get the cream wagon because it's the cream color, oh, yeah. and it, uh -huh, and it goes uh -huh. well with oh, the cream. Oh, God. Now, let, let's just process this. There's a lot of things I need. It doesn't mean I have the money for it. <laughs> yeah, but I've been looking at it for many months, and you know, I wanted to get the treasure thing sorted, and I needed 40000 for that, so I was saving for that for, hmm. that took a while, because we're doing a lot, a lot of gambling. Sounds to me like the main problem here is the gambling. No, we ma I make a lot of... You, you want to hear some good... Okay, good it's weird how much you've lost in comparison to how much you've won. I put, I put, I want to know what the odds on, are. On a, <laughs> my first night playing, didn't know how to play, taught myself, and walked away with 4,000. 
What? I was very happy that night. I like the game. idea of teaching myself how to play a game. I feel like that'd go badly. You're like I brute forced it. Hey, hey, how are you? You brute forced. How do you brute force learning a game, though? Perhaps, perhaps you kind of can. You kind of just you cry a little easy. bit and then you continue on. Oh, okay, you use the tears to loop the dice as you throw them, that kind of thing. As far as contracts go, if you're looking to make some extra money, uh, if you get a full regular bag, I'll pay you two hundred fifty dollars per person. If you get any Cougar claws, I'll, I'll pay you fifty dollars on that extra onto that, and skins, I'll give you ten dollars onto those. Cougar, wait, Cougar claws? You mean you want people to chase after these murder cats? Well, if you're hunting, or you happen to be hunting, you're hunting those uh, kind of those exotic black cougars, shadows of the morning. You kind of take a trophy uh, huh. you know, as acknowledgement. Those things are worth quite, a, quite the same. Just be the ones that I'm gonna need a better rifle. <laughs> yeah, you can do it both. Can oh, you so though? I mean, I shot one of those cats like 15 arrows in that prick, and he still got me. Just one. Just one. Uh huh. Not one of the, not one of those general store little flimsy. What, what do you think I got? <laughs> you think I've got some fancy bow that I paid a hundred bucks for? White hands, a good fella, he'll help you out. Huh. Also, cleavers. Now cleavers I can get behind. Get yourself a cleaver that will send a bear to sleep in one swing. I have a cleaver I too. I, I a bow and it doesn't really help with the, with the bear if I wasn't able to, you know, time it right to scare, get scare him off with my cattleman, then we sleep with the cleaver straight away. Cleaver saved me from a couple of wolves not the other day. You, you know what? You, you're, you're better off kicking the wolves as cleaver. I mean. It worked. <laughs> it was kind of a pain in the ass to get them back out of their skulls afterwards, but it worked. Anyway, all I want to say, I don't have much money to spend it. <laughs> you don't have much money. You have running investments, right? Assets. Assets, right, right, right. You, you basically have an asset acquisitions business. I make money so I can buy things so I can give things. Yeah, that's what I said, but I said it fancier. <laughs> See, were you okay back there? Yep. Okay, just checking. <laughs> just wanted to be sure. Wanted to make sure you weren't just a statue now. Fair it is. You, you know, he's riding up a fucking, uh, not a liaison, but a, what do you call him? A ledger to send off to the fucking tax office. Ah. Uh, so they can come after you for everything that you've got invested. <laughs> <laughs> but I give it all away, so, you know, it's a write off. Oh, uh, clever. You can't tax what, the t what is hidden in the ground. <laughs> Tax, but you can't see. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't appraise what you can't see, and therefore you can't tax it either. If you want to hear a secret, um, if someone I'm finds teach me a secret about taxes, maybe I'm the wrong person. <laughs> As a deputy, maybe you don't want to teach me a tax. <laughs> <laughs> These people are hilarious. <laughs> if you find all ninety treasure locations, there's a secret reward. Yeah. Listen, I'm run definitely found at like, least yeah. one before. <laughs> I'm starting to run up a task tally here. I'm uh I'm gonna have to be gathering oregano bags, I'm gonna have to be gathering cougar claws, and I'm gonna have to find what was it, ninety locations? Ninety new treasure locations. Jesus. Then new ones 
as well, so if there's old ones, it's kind of old one. It doesn't well, the old, mean... Right? It doesn't count it. Fuck. Well, uh, I'll see you in three weeks, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm slowly losing my mind. <laughs> Maybe. I was out hunting, and then Marley dragged me off to buy some eggs, and I've been in Blackwater since, and it's been four hours. <laughs> Dang. Four hours to get eggs? <laughs> well, I gave, I don't know, I, I sold her eggs, but then we just, I just got stuck in conversation. Oh, um, listen, I don't know if any of you realized, but I just realized just now that we've been talking this entire time and I haven't even introduced myself. Yeah, I kind of thought about it, but I was expecting it to happen at some point soon. Yeah, so now I'm just forcing the issue. <laughs> what, mine? No, my name is Pat. Pat Riley. Okay, who's going to go next? Any Bonnie. Uh, I can go next. You, you, yeah, you can volunteer. <laughs> My name is uh, uh, Peter Rockwell, greatest treasure hunter in the crossing. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you. Deputy Mary Jane McFarlane, currently off duty in duty. Also, primary caretaker of McFarlane's ranch. And that's him. Are we giving him all our titles? I don't know. Hey, I mean, if you got titles, why not flaunt them? Go for it. You can, you can okay, I'm a former conductor of the SCTA, <laughs> and I'm technically a grey of Caligar Hall. I just married out of it. Damn. Does that make you a widow? What? How? Divorce is how it doesn't make you a widow, it makes you divorced. Yeah, but you're technically losing the like, They're not dead, friend. and also I don't think it's <laughs> enough to be considered his widow. Damn. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's next? I just I am senior ranger on that ground. Allegra. Okay. And he eyed hard, hammer himself. Out of you, hammer. Law. <laughs> <laughs> Detective senior deputy. Yeah, pretty much. Something, something hammer. <laughs> Howdy, Hugh Hammer. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Detective, huh? No. I'm so Not actually? Oh, okay. I, would be calling you Huey all the time. I think you get slapped. He seems like the kind of person who would slap you for calling him Huey. Not slap, you'd punch. But oh, full on. Punch. Okay. I suppose that's fair. You know, like, you're, you're I would hope to people are slapping like each other in the department like if they're doing it, they do it at random time pick things. Lumber yard's just over there. Popular belief, I don't like punching people. I don't like getting punched or punching people, so, you know. People are like, MJ, surely we can fight? It's like, no. No, I've never really no, fist fought anybody, so. Mm -mm. I don't want to be hit. No, I'm good too, thanks. Also, I'd rather not break someone's fucking nose. <laughs> and then you get to feel guilty about breaking somebody's nose. I'm not used to sparring. Well, also, with sparring, though, you know, sometimes people get a little enthusiastic, they get into the fight real good, and then uh, next thing you know, somebody runs out, broken nose, crying. 
amnesia memory issues. What if someone punches me, I hit my head, and then mm, everything's gone again? That. Speaking of amnesia, so what was your name again? <laughs> I, I'm Pat. I actually wanted to hit you. <laughs> I'm Pat Riley. Pat, Pat, Pat. Pat mm -hmm. you, you didn't say Riley before? Riley, yes. Do you like Patterson or Patty? Or just Pat? Whatever floats your boat, I'm not fussy. Okay. Looking for work here at Blackwater? Um, I kind of just roam around looking for work anywhere. And if I can't find any, I just hunt stuff. Yeah, same here. Well, I'm actually going to go do some ranch work, but if you ne ever need to hunt a cougar, there is one down at McFarland's, typically behind the big house by the foxes. We can introduce Patty here to the, uh, to the job board. That's down there. <laughs> you got a job board at the ranch? <laughs> No, I'm. I mean, there's job boards all around Carlton, but there's some particular about ranches. If you have a kind of fascination with ranches and you know, just the simple quality of life that they provide, you know, get quite paid well, especially if you maintain a focus on those particular ranches that have those you know, contracts ready and available. Hmm. Horn, emerald. Alrighty, fair enough. This is where I'm gonna be going. They lead you to other ranches, but uh, it, it can become a hassle compared to getting a job there. Yeah, down in McFarland's, <coughs> you can get jobs for. There's ones further out west that's typically McFarland's or Kerrigan's. Alright. Ridgewood. Ridgewood, that's the one. Would you mind terribly if I rode alongside you, come see the ranch? Oh, that's all good. Alrighty. Big sake. Yeah, please do. Just not going to die, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be okay. Thank you. You left a long pause for that, and that concerns me. He was thinking about it. <laughs> you have my telegram number, so remember to put that on the note. Look at each other. I said you send me a note. I will send you a note. I gave him one of my old horses that I never really rode on. Mm -hmm. For him to use as a prize and pleasure hunt. And uh, I'm getting him to put in a note because it's Kentucky Saddler, so not the fanciest, but Horse. Saying, oh, hmm. if you don't want this horse, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair enough. Then I'm going to get a good fine. If someone doesn't want them, I will happily give them. I'd be surprised if someone didn't want them, but I guess it could always happen. Well, my mom and dad never taught me to be very picky, so I don't have that particular problem. <laughs> That's good. I like, I like draft horses, big horses. Yeah. They just look strong. Yeah. I'm Belgian. You looking for, a, looking for a cart horse then? Well, I just used to have one that I rode around in a lot. 
and I really love that horse, but unfortunately, due to issues with the game, it passed away. Oh, fair enough. I'm sorry to hear it. Lag. Yeah, I get what you mean. You get attached to the certain horse, and when they're gone, it, it always leaves a bit of a hole. Oh. Yeah, just bees buzzing, you know how it is. Yeah, a bit. Trying to find a place that I can sort of call my, my home base. Mm. I wish I had a place like that. There's a lot of people, they, they do roam around and they don't settle, at least for a place to live. Hmm. I worry about them a bit. There's always, there's always good places. Yeah. Well, and even if there's not too good a place, there's always good people to be around. typically at Karakuns at the minute there's a lot of people at Pronghorn Emerald like they're, they're much busier villages huh. where I live it's it's very quiet there's not really a lot of people unless they're doing little odd job and things and I, I don't mind it yeah having a nice quiet place is a pretty good thing yeah. some people what I wanted to do before was like push for it to be a little bit busier, but I, I kind of do enjoy the peace. See, that's a gift in and of itself, being able to enjoy the peace. Given that my other job aside from marching is being a deputy, I like peace. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I guess you get enough excitement as it is. Sorry about the Pokemon spam, guys. I know it's a bit of a thing. Well, there's a few issues. There's a few issues with everywhere. But there is a cougar that runs behind the big house. Hmm. A lot. I actually get the cougar skulls as a form of havoc, which wasn't as weird when I didn't think I'd get that many. <laughs> <laughs> when you thought it might be five, yeah. You can pretty much build uh, a small hut with them now. <laughs> Although I don't know too many people who would like to live in a house made of cougar skulls. Hello. Hmm. When I was part of the transit. Oh, okay. oh excuse me. Sorry. More people coming out this way right now than I thought they <laughs> Must just be a time of day thing. Hmm. I think avoid going through the branch now because again when I was in the SCPA I would be on the balcony of the main house. And so I'd spot them. Oh yeah. Well that tells you enough about them. Yeah. Somebody's trying to not be seen, that usually tells you enough. There's there's a couple of groups that have gone through that I've recognized pretty easily. <laughs> The kind of recognition where it's like, hey, didn't I stop your bank robbery last week? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, I was just taking a punt. I <laughs> Dang. Oh, okay. Yeah, if nothing else should give you a good chuckle. Okay, there was I mean it's still around and he may or may not be one of the I, when I say worst, I don't mean he's bad at it, I mean like one of the worst criminals in Australia. Hmm, one of the most notorious ones. <laughs> well, I guess he was looking at the wrong place. <laughs> it's a good story. Doesn't paint him in the flattering light, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's also fair. Well, I suppose it's funnier if they fail. Well, I guess that's fair. Now, if you're at the jump board that's here, you see the two hundred dollar one. Fucking grab it! I love that one. <laughs> like it's a good variety of things to do. Hmm. Probably takes a bit to do as well, so you're nice and busy for the day. A little bit to do, but it's not too bad. It's like hmm. there's nothing that you have to do more than ten times. That's actually pretty solid. Damn. That is one of the worst ones I have ever seen in my life. Hmm. Just because it's, it's a bit of a bit. Um, the hay is, is annoying. Because people don't realize where you need to drop the hay, and some people walk it all the way to five quarter because they can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Once we're past the big house, I want you to go over a hill so that way you're not right there because the goop is very likely to bite you. Okay. Lag is really bad. I don't think my computer can really handle streaming this, maybe. Try and okay, I don't think they're following us all the way, which is good. The problem is that the hmm. cook is now going to be a problem. So you, you wait right here, okay? Yep, no problem. <laughs> The lag is so bad, oh my god. Anyway, she started blasting.
careful. Nothing I can do. Wait, where's the wolf gone? It was right behind that rider. Is it my team speed crashing again? No. I can hear him, but I can't see him. Was that one back there? Careful, there's been wolves. Alright, they're just gonna keep on trucking. I guess that's fine. Well, look at you, one big cat richer. No, it has quite a few bullet holes in it, so it is rich. Yeah, but at least it's not eating us, so that's a plus. And also, they, those two just dealt with the wolves, which they are. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> they were way further off than dealing with the wolves. Fair. Show you where they would typically be. Please, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just keep in mind if no one really around, everyone goes to say the job thing or the hen house thing over there. Mm -hmm. A cougar will typically come out of the out of its den, so there'll be another one. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Be just here, right where I am. Oh, gods. Which is why I try to get up on that building and I check, and you will see a tail peeking out from that side. <laughs> that's a good trick. Never, never try and be on the inside of this fence. <laughs> just rush up to one, because that is how you get caught. Yeah, I don't think I want to get got by a cat that big, so no, I'll just, um,. Jesus. And you're still walking around. I'm surprised you're still walking with all them cat attacks. Uh, there's, there's a lot of, like, time between them. And you should oh. <laughs> okay, good. This is McFarland. <laughs> Usually the wolves find me about and I don't talk too bad, but here I'm not doing too bad this time. That's a good thing. We got a little house in the little sink. Get some water, wash your plants. Nice. So there's where we keep uh, the sheep. We got chicken. Alrighty. Now this bit looks a bit more familiar. This is where you'd break the horses. Mm -hmm. Though, I don't know... I don't know why the people who tend to the cows the most, I tend to them a lot, but the people who tend to them when I am around... <laughs> put them in those pens. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Uh, you know, there must be some kind of logic. Oh, nice. Good call. They really should. <laughs> okay. We have all the barrel set up so people can do barrel races if they want. We haven't had them happen for quite a while though. Like we got obviously this whole track in here, and then we have the ones out there that aren't confined to a fence. Oh yeah. Get someone running the races again, but I just ain't got the time quite myself. I mean, that's entirely fair. Mm. Mm -hmm. Have you okay? Have you ever fed chickens in a hedge? I have done. Um, oh. sometimes I stumble over. <laughs> well. Yeah, so the thing is, right, you throw down the feed, the chickens walk on over, and then every now and then there's one of them that sneaks up behind you and sort of tries to get underneath your feet and makes you stumble. That's never, never happened. Maybe I was too cocky just standing there. Were you just standing there? Yeah, I was just watching them eat. <laughs> I'm easily fascinated by little animals doing their little animal things. Well, then you'll love <laughs> <laughs> Is there a flock of birds? No, it's grass. I'm so blind. <laughs> I, I'm just going to blame the low light situation. Yes. And then my terrible eyes. No, not at all. Don't, you know, age, age doesn't need to be brought up. That's not a thing that exists. You're one of those people that don't know how old you are. I'm one of those people who actively tries to avoid knowing. How old are you? <laughs> I, dang it, I'm 30. Well, that's that's at least something, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, any age above 27 is shit. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. So, this hay, if you ever picked it up, it goes in just one of the pens over there. Or in front of the other pens over there. It's always going to be over there. Oh, okay. How do you take this all the way to Blackwater? Like, how is that a logical thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> Most ranches have this logic to them where it's somewhere near where you picked it up so that you're not, you know, crippled by the time you get to town. I had to put a sign, and some people don't read the little sign. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's how my papa raised me. But um, I always read the signs because <laughs> they're usually put up for a reason. Yeah, I try to read them because I usually put them up for a reason. See, there you go. Case in point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, uh, we have the little train station over there. Sometimes Western trains will start out here, and I love it. That's awesome. It was great, really. Really short commute to work. Back <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, yeah, welcome to my farm. Thank you. It's, it's a pretty awesome looking place. Thank you. I like how open it is. Yes, me too. And if, if the water in the sink in that house doesn't appease you, over that hill... Well, be careful at night time because there's possibly wolves. Over that hill, there's a waterfall. 
but you can also do gold pan air which don't get you shit because I used to do it and it didn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> well, do gold pan air. yeah, that's not something that interests me. I hear a lot of stories about people striking it rich, but uh, I also hear a lot of stories about people just finding pebbles, really. <laughs> I mean, not nowadays. No. Gin. Also, you can go into the black swamps. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I'm not answering just somebody in chat right now, guys. I uh, I had to minimize the window. Sorry to say. Also, since I asked, I'm just going to say I'm 39. I turned 40 later this year. Well, congratulations on surviving this long. Thank you. Yeah. I like it anyway. It is pretty good. Yeah. Lots of things to see, sit on, mess with if you're so inclined, which I'm not. I, uh, I think melting steel is far outside of my purview. Well, mess with can imply you just pick up them together a few times, which I may or may not have done once when I was bored. I mean, when bored, we're not really responsible for the silly things we do. I mean, it wasn't even, it's not like it had hurt anything, it's just I wanted to hear it win. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to hear what sound it made. Mm -hmm. I can get behind that. Also, if you cannot get on a house that's over there, which you do at the there's a tiny wagon, which, or cart, that cougars can't get on. Really? They can't get on there? That's amazing. Uh, we're going to do the chip. You run that little cart, okay? Right. Will do. Oh. We got another one now. Yay. Don't mind if I do. Here, you see the tape? Right at the corner, right at the edge. Oh. Tiny yes. Bit of tail. It's the tiniest little. I mean, I gotta look really close. Well, mm -hmm. that is your sign that there's a cougar if you don't hear it. I don't know what's scarier, knowing there's a cougar or only getting that tiny little edge of it. Do you want to try uh, spooking it up where you go? How do I do that? Uh, shoot somewhere around it, preferably not the house. You are... Um, I guess it found something to hunt. Yeah, but where to? That's... That just means it'll come back at some point. I really hope it doesn't get a ride around the road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not terrifying or anything. That's just normal Sunday stuff. Be yeah. Fair. As opposed to pronghorn, we don't have to deal with bears. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, entirely fair. Nearby. Yeah, no. I think I pr definitely prefer a cat over the bear. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, but a bear will frickin' tear you apart. Yeah. I don't think I like the uh rock which I thought would protect me. Yeah, that's another thing, right? They're huge. They can crawl up and over stuff that the cat definitely can't. So, yeah, preference goes to cat every time. Oh yeah, if you ever have 
to get milk from the cows, you can take it just to that little dairy uh, cart thing. Oh, yeah, the one that already has some, some jugs around it. Oh, right, yeah, not too, not too bad. What's this? Hello. If it isn't the deputy, my girl. <laughs> Everyone on here is law. Well, a pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> <laughs> the horse is an honorary deputy or something? <laughs> what? Where where would you put it? In its mane? No, like on the buckle, the buckle on the oh God. Ah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. Oh. Why was I being yelled at? Can I just go back to that? <laughs> Your horse made an arrest. I do have stitches. I'm not going to you in scale. That's amazing. Look at him go. How are you? Hello. I killed one cougar today and another one just ran off. Yep. I can attest to that. Yes, they they just love the they love the corn. They, they love it. They love the corn. They love being behind the crate. I think. Hmm? What? Get that horse to back up. <laughs> what are you doing? You are not on my fucking the horse. horse ranch. Give the horse is in your diarrhea. I don't know yeah, where it's supposed to have a I'm Deputy Nadia Green. <laughs> Deputy, nice to meet you. I'm Pat Riley. Hi, Pat, I'm uh, Detective Keto. Hello. Nice to meet you as well. Mm -hmm. The one offering the horse a cigarette is Sheriff Wild. <laughs> Sheriff Wild. The fellow in the, uh, <laughs> in the deputy view hammer. Because all these people get much choice otherwise. Mm, I met him in Blackwater. Uh, I mean, tobacco's kind of like, hey. Is it, though? Nope. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. <laughs> I mean, it might burn similar-ish. Maybe if it's wet. What if they just want to eat Right, that was an unlike cigarette, to be fair. And yeah. how is a horse going to ask for a cigarette otherwise? There's exactly. no way. What if, what if it just spits out the cigarette? <laughs> just straight in your face, just... You know, I know it's more than cocaine apples. I mean, my, my horse loves cocaine. Yo, welcome. Any form. Your Did horse you likes... Your horse cocaine? It's good for yeah, humans, yeah. it's good for horses. Exactly, all the time. I got yelled at already, but you know what? My horse, my horse's heart never blew up like the thing did. My horse... <laughs> Okay, yes. you hmm. thought your horse's heart would blow up and you still gave it cocaine? Because I got told I horse. Said, hey, listen, you had like ten listen, horses. What no, the fuck? Listen, I was told <laughs> my life, and this was months, years of my life after, that, oh, you can't do that. And I was like, well, guess what? I raised that horse on cocaine apples. That horse loves it. Dang. Yeah, it's called a, it's called reliance. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I just, I just, sometimes I wish for one pizza a day, one, and then I hear about cocaine apple horses. Cocaine yep. Apple horses. <laughs> sometimes a horse is your only friend. That's right. And you know, smoking alone is horrible. I've never had the inclination. I loved smoking a cigar alone on a train. It was so lovely. Like, oh, look at this amazing scenery. Well, and there's no piece of ground around here that either of us could stand on alone. Well, you know you can book one. 
No, but then I'm not alone. I guess, like, uh, I mean, smoking's already an expensive habit. Having a group of train mm. every time I want one just makes it worse. Oh. Um, were you on a train pretending to be a train? No, I L just, I just wanted the cigar smoke, smoke to get out the taste of smoke <laughs> smoke on the train. <laughs> See, that just made me imagine seeing somebody running across the tracks going, choo choo. <laughs> fucking, a, fucking a cigar every now and then. Yeah. Just to blow out some smoke. I'd be worried for their health. What? Would be horse nip? Yeah. Because horse nip is so bad. Would be nipped by horses. Uh, me. I never thought about that until just now. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you put that lit cigarette anywhere near that horse's mouth, I swear to God. I feel like this is one of those situations where I just take one tentative step to the side. <laughs> I don't know, seems agitated. That's, I think that's agitated. Like, oh. by the ears, he, he looks agitated. Oh, look. Mm-hmm. No, look, look. Look. No, 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 he's not that yeah, he's more. It's more. Lovely, I'm more. not getting yeah. advice from Mr. Cocaine Horse. <laughs> that's your nickname now. <laughs> Or, or do yeah, you just think I it is because you're both pepped up on coke? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So fast. That horse stops for a second. It's hard will explode. <laughs> I don't want to be a witness to that. <laughs> no jealousy here. Secrets. <laughs> because you keep judging it for what it likes and doesn't like. Then you just judging let it live the its life. Everyone else is supplying it. Poor baby. Let this poor little horse run its life the way it wants to. Instead of calling it a baby and making sure it doesn't ever have fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was in the <laughs> Give it a couple minutes. He's all calm now. He goes for something in his ear and he's all nice and he's calm. He's calm after a minute. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the process. It's like just the nicotine process being in his blood. It's what happens to me as soon as I have a cigarette. I calm down after about a minute. I got, I bought, uh, some fellas were selling cannabis cigarettes. That helps. It's relaxing. The other cigarettes, not so much. I'm learning a lot. Fun. I'm gathering concerns. <laughs> Who are you gathering concerns about? Yes. <laughs> Peaceful time. Yep. Yeah. Chased by wolves only to be greeted by a death cat. Oh yeah, it's cat 310. Jesus. 
she keeps count going for the world record. What the fuck? What? <clears throat> <laughs> what the hell are they doing to this horse, man? <laughs> I'm concerned about how calm this horse is after that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. I think it can smell the stars now. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> I guess I should probably get out of your way, huh? <laughs> gonna be safe with fucked up sweet horse here. Now, if it if he takes you to the moon, um, you know who to point at, you know. <laughs> Please be careful. Please do. Have a great day. Have a great one. Thanks to you. Oh god. That horse is going to explode. <laughs> that poor baby. <laughs> That's officially outside of range of where it's your problem, so if the horse explodes now... <laughs> yep. Easy now. Yikes. <laughs> Dang cat. Yeah, I was about to say. Thought I saw it twitch. I was nervous. <laughs> Yet another one to add. You must be. But, I mean, how could you not be if there's one every day, pretty much? More like it can be free in an hour. Oh, Jesus. Would you like it? I'd... What do you do with it? Oh, uh, you can take it to the butchers. They'll take googers. Alright. It's probably not in the best shape. If you get one that's in good shape, you could get, like, $40. Well, you know what they say, every little bit helps. 
Tool. You're a heavy cat. Goddamn. You've been eating good, huh, kid? Might want to check your chickens. <laughs> That is a mercy. Uh, I may need to rest a little bit, but yeah, if you take that to the butchers, it's usually all good. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't quite escort you back to your house. You're perfectly fine. All right, Bucket, this is your first, your very first time carrying a cat. You ready? And there it is. Takes up a lot of room. Yeah. You okay, Bucket? You look uncomfortable, buddy. Maybe that's just me. Here, it's okay, bud. I'll get it off your back soon enough, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> See, it does what it says on the tin. I'll just take him back to Blackwater. I mean, true, true. You wouldn't expect it, given the, <laughs> given what they are supposed to be doing. And you as well. Absolutely. And, you know, if you have any odd jobs that aren't on the board, but you still need taken care of. Uh, actually, I should probably give you my telegram number if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you're going to town. How about I give you my only seven telegram numbers? That also works. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Ready as I'll ever be. It is YJ981. Like, yellow jacket, 981. I can't think of anything hmm. better. <laughs> Yellow Jack is just fine. <laughs> you know, maybe if you talk to the right people, nope. they'll set it. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I might have also played that particular game. <laughs> they were like, sir... Your money's no good here. You just, you got your registration number. Just take it and go. So that's what I did. <laughs> yep. Make the best of it. No worries. Absolutely. You have a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. It seems weird because it says on the form where to put it. Yeah, you think that helps. Hmm. I guess people just need to need to read more. Yes. <laughs> just in general, the signs, the telegram stuff, everything. Please do. <laughs> Will do. See you next time. All right, Bucket, let's go. Ooh. The lag is real. That was awesome. I just thought I'll get on, I'll go to a nearby ranch, do some jobs. Um... And all that, because, you know, pretty early for the server. But then we got all this cool roleplay. That was awesome. That's a lot of people to shout out. I'll get through them. No worries. They left the wolves? so oh, come on. How? At least butcher the poor things. All right. 
Let's see if the pelt is any good. Rotten gray wolf. Can't really do much with that. But we'll get rid of the corpse anyway. If we can. No, I guess not. Alright, well, we tried. That's just gonna have to decay naturally. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to have to take a punt. Or the lag can stop long enough for me to open the map. That also works. That's Thieves Landing, which I didn't want to head to. That's Blackwater. We'll head straight to the butchers if we can. Hello. Wish whiskey grew on trees. I sure don't. Whiskey growing on trees, that seems like a... Uh, seems like a bad time. We'll go a little faster, because uh, this will take us forever if I don't. My God. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Hi, guys. Hope you've been enjoying this so far. I've been having some fun. Um, I may make some adjustments uh, when I end stream in a little bit. And then try again later. But for now, I'd say it's pretty okay. What? What are you scared of? Snake? Or is it the bear? Probably the bear. Just shoot in its general direction to scare it off. Just trying to scare off the bear, sir. Nothing, nothing aimed at you, I promise.
Slow your own bucket. There is a good boy. There we go. Nine doll hairs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I'm filthy. Damn it. Damn it. I need to get more food from the general store because these camp peaches aren't going to do much. And just in case I want to hunt later, I will do that. Because you're not going to do much hunting with a shotgun. You'll just you know, blow the thing to bits. Which reminds me, I need a rifle. Go to the gun store, gunsmith, to see what that'll cost me. Dun, 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 dun. Hi again. That looks awkward. That song has been stuck in my head for days now. Uh, Bones in the Ocean. <laughs> Apple? Well... That would be horse food. Eek. Well, <clears throat> guess if you want guns, you're going to work for them, huh? Fog rolling in the black water. An ill wind blows across the Sea of Thieves. Every damn time, either I see fog or wind picks up, and that's the first thing my mind produces. I don't know why. I wish I could tell you.
I'm traveling back to the ranch once it's daytime. I don't want to be out um, during night getting ambushed by wolves or something. Seems like a bad time. Oh yeah, Bucka, come here. Let's get that, get that cougar stuff off you. Cougar gunk. There you go. Look at you, you pretty boy. Good looking horse. Hello, sir. <clears throat> All right. There and there. Um, and I'm going to. Find me a little place to sit. Kind of like that guy, but not... Not entirely. That's one of the law people. There, we're just going to take a seat. Pat Riley, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but I'm going to call it for now because I do have a few more things to do. Um, and then when I have done said things... Um, I will likely be back, hopefully with a less laggy stream, um, that you can then enjoy. I appreciate everybody watching. Um... If you haven't already hit the follow button, I'd appreciate it. And if you don't, well, you know, that's fine, too. Just catch us next time when we go live. This is a little out of song. I'm going to be for somebody. Potentially. Um, somebody's pretty wild, preferably, right? I think I found the body. Hold on.
Thank you all again for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, please take very good care of yourselves and of others. And don't be a stranger.